Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a very easy, no mess, no fuss way to do gradients. Um, you're probably used to this way where you have a big old mess afterwards that you have to clean up. Um, this is with no masking, no nothing. You know, that's just my normal mess that I, I normally make. I never really mask my fingers when I do gradients. I usually just wash my hands afterwards and then clean them up with acetone. Now this way, I'm going to show you, this is with no cleanup whatsoever. Um, there's just a little bit of overness, like that's nothing, you know, that you have to like really clean up that'll wash off right after you wash your hands. So what you need is a normal stamper, um, a sponge like your regular, like you would normally do a gradient and your two colors. I'm, or your gradient colors. I'm just using two. So what you do is you load up your color like you normally would on your, on your sponge and uh, like a nice liberal amount. So um, um, the colors that I'm using are um, Fresh Paints, um, Honeydew Melon, and Sinful Colors, Why Not. You take your stamper, and you take your sponge, and then you dab it like you are dabbing onto your finger. And you dab it all the way across. You get the, the good gradient up and down. So there's a good um, gradient and then let it get a little bit dry, a little bit tacky, and then you just take it on your finger. Um, I just have one e base coat of the clean, the fresh paint color. And then start from one side and roll it on. There you go. Very little cleanup. Um, and if you're even more um, careful about it, it's even less cleanup than that. So, you know, it's a no mess, no fuss way. Um, you can even, while you're doing it, um, after it's set up a little bit, you can even, like, um, scratch off right, like, around where you think your finger is going to fit. Or you can use acetone to clean it up. But, like I said, it's you, with a little bit of practice, it's no fuss, no muss. Like, I would rather clean up that on any given day than that. And with this way, it's one, one thing and you're done. You got a nice gradient. This was like four coats over and over again. And you can see that at the tip, it was like picking up like the blue and the green weren't mixing very well. But with this way, there's like, you don't got to worry about anything. And then to make it look a little bit nicer, put your clear coat on and your clear coat like helps um, blend everything in and make it look really nice. So it blends everything in nicely. You have a nice gradient and no mess, really. Like, that's nothing to clean up. So, um, and like I said, if you're a little more careful with it and stuff and you let your paint set up just a little bit longer, you can um, you can have virtually no cleanup. I did a manicure the other day with um, doing it this way, and I had no cleanup whatsoever. And then for your, you clean your stamper off, like you can scrap, scrape it all off or, you know, have like a little acetone ready and then you can scrape it right off. The only thing I haven't tried, and I'll do it with you guys, is um, not having a base coat on. So we'll see what a base coat, without a base coat, looks like. And then the good thing is that um, the stamper is nice and wide, so even with your wider fingers that you, like girls who have wide fingers, you can even get that, um, get it like that too, like your thumbs and stuff. So let me clean off my scraper a little bit better, my stamper, so there you go. And then again, you're just dabbing it on there like you were dabbing on your finger and you just dab it make sure you get you know the nice gradient line up and down get a nice solid color going and then let it get a little bit tacky not too much and then we'll see so so that's with no base coat whatsoever you still get a really good coverage like it's you know not something like I would be like oh yeah this is great but you know it's still and I could have even let it dry out a little bit more like get a little more tacky on here because then it would have picked up it would have deposited all the paint and then the good thing about this way is if you mess up or I'm um, sorry 
if it doesn't deposit all the way, if you're if you have the base coat underneath there, you can just take your stamper and then like find a different area of it and it it'll go off that way. So like and then like this one's obviously because I let it get too tacky on here, it's not that great. But like I said, you know, with a little bit of practice, you can have beautiful gradients really easily with very little cleanup. And like even that one, like I said, it came out okay. You could even after that point, like if you still, if you liked it or whatever, just stamp on it with your the, your sponge just to clean it up a little bit, you know, like so it's not all lost if you don't get it right the first time because you still have your sponge that you can use. But if you get really good at it, like I said, you, you could use this with no, no cleanup whatsoever. And I think that it gives you a better gradient than working with just the sponge. As you see, like this one looks a hell of a lot better than this one. And it's a lot cleaner, and it only took one swipe. So it was one thin base coat and one one uh, thing with the stamper. Whereas this was a base coat, and then I think I went over it three different times with the um, sponge. So, yeah, I thought I would share that little bit of knowledge with you guys. And uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys at the next one. Bye.